the coast of Kent here in England, so close to France. In fact, just 21 miles separates England from France. Down there is Calais, and on a clear day, specifically in 1803, uh, people of Kent could witness little white dots appearing on the cliffs way down there. They were the tents of Napoleon's Grand Army, up to 150,000 troops ready to invade this country. Napoleon said, master the strait, six hours later, and we'll be able to master the world. He wanted to invade on the 21st of October, 1805. He lost a lot of ships in the Battle of Trafalgar. The French and Spanish combined fleet lost 18 ships, and we lost none. However, we did lose Admiral Lord Horatio Nelson. But if they did invade, we were protected. Follow me. Just up on the hilltop here, amongst a pitch and put golf course, a Martello Tower. Most of these built to protect England from Napoleon. 74 of them built along the Kent coast, and 45 of them still survive. Hop up and have a closer look. Ironically named after Motello Point in Corsica, the Martello Towers were actually based on a design by a Spaniard but used by the French from the 16th century. We copied that design and even right up until World War II, right up there, there's an extra defence. But originally built to house a garrison of 15 people to protect England from Napoleon. Now, I know I'm not able to get in this. <laughs> Definitely not. And you're bound to trip up if you're not looking at the steps and looking at a camera instead. And there we go. A door is shut. Well, a nice view of Folkestone anyway. Mortallo Tower, English Channel, and the Kent Coast.